This is our last port, Stockholm, Sweden. We'll disembark in a few hours and stay here three nights. Many visitors are unaware of this most spectacular feature, the archipelago. This magnificent maritime landscape of more than 30,000 islands, islets, and scurries, of which some 1,000 are inhabited, is unique in the world. Stockholm is 25 miles from the Baltic and protected by the archipelago's winding maze of canals, rivers, and streams. Our room isn't ready this early, so we'll walk around town and sightsee. Our taxi driver called this area Millionaire's Row, kind of like the Upper East Side in New York City. Gustav the Great, king at 17, led armies until his battlefield death. And in the same square, the Royal Opera House. Around the corner is St. James Church. This area is called King's Garden. Displeased with King Charles XIII, locals say a gardener without a garden like a king without honor. We wandered into this local church and found a piano being tuned. Our room is below the green awning at the rotunda, third floor from the top. Local ferry boats for tourists and commuters. Day two by water taxi to Old Town where you can hop on, hop off all day. And here's a lighthouse boat. And Tivoli Amusement Park with some wild rides. So we hopped off in Old Town at the Royal Palace. This is where you'll feel the pulse of the town. Ice cream stores, restaurants, tourist shops, paseos, studios, museums, and street acts. It's raining on our last full day, so we'll go to the Fine Arts Museum. The Vasa was the largest ship ever built in Sweden, over 220 feet, and was to have demonstrated the power and supremacy of King Gustav Vasa. On her maiden voyage in 1628, she began to sink shortly after being launched due to excessive weight and disproportionate height. There was a sudden squall and her gun ports were still open having just fired farewell. She listed heavily to port. The gun ports sank below the water level and water gushed in. It only took a few moments for her to sink. And there she remained for 333 years. From there, we took a taxi to a 500-foot communications tower for lunch at their restaurant. This is a great view of the islands, waterways, and bridges. The green steeple left of center is in Old Town, and the large flat roof building moving left of center is the Royal Palace. Our hotel is moving left to right in the middle and has green ivy on the front. Downtown Stockholm is coming up on the right. The restaurant's on the lower of the two areas and the upper area has a bar. Above that, and out of view, is an open air screened in area. I went up there, but it was too windy to take any pictures. It's our last morning and we're getting ready to leave for London. That's Kathy in the window.